Alright, welcome back everybody to Altcoin Daily. Yes, Aaron here. Thanks for checking in today. You guys know the cool thing about us here at Altcoin Daily is we bring you daily videos on everything altcoin, everything cryptocurrency. So yeah, subscribing to the channel, it's not a bad idea to stay connected on everything going on in the crypto market. Now, speaking of the crypto market, let's take a quick look at coinmarketcap.com and there are a lot of different altcoins. Let me ask you guys a question. Wouldn't it be nice, whether you are a investor like me, maybe you're a crypto enthusiast like me, or maybe you just want to be the expert among your friend group on cryptocurrency, wouldn't it be nice if you actually knew what all these different projects did? Yeah, I think it would too. So let me introduce you to day one of a new series we're doing at Altcoin Daily called Altcoin crash course where we will be taking coins on coinmarketcap.com listing you know most valuable to least valuable we'll be going 10 by 10 and just basically giving you a crash course very simply put what all these different cryptocurrencies do so you will now be the expert among your friends you will now have better knowledge of the space to help you invest better or just enthuse uh, be excited better i guess if that's a thing anyways today we're doing one through ten bitcoin through tron be just giving you just the basic information all these i think i can get all these done in less than 13 minutes i don't know you'll you have to time me when we start but feel free to subscribe to the channel uh so you can you know see the next part of our series when we do 11 through 20 and so on and so forth and if at any point you find value in this video give it a like it helps us grow as a channel now are you guys ready let's do this we'll be starting with bitcoin and going to tron let's do it go bitcoin bitcoin is the mac daddy the original the og cryptocurrency bitcoin was created in 2009 by an individual or group we don't know who gave themselves the japanese name satoshi nakamoto now bitcoin is a, it's a new type of currency what made bitcoin a game changer was two things one it used blockchain technology to create digital scarcity and two, it, was de it is decentralized, which means you no longer needed a third party verifying your transactions. Very cool. So although Bitcoin in recent years has had some speed and transaction fee issues, which developers are trying to fix, it has remained the most valuable cryptocurrency since its inception at number one and a solid store of value. But many people speculate on whether another altcoin will someday take its place, which brings us to ethereum ethereum it's a second generation cryptocurrency that was created in 2015 by a brilliant young russian canadian man named vitalik buterin ethereum like bitcoin is a cryptocurrency that uses blockchain technology but its purpose it's not just to be a currency sure people can pay using ethereum but what makes ethereum special is that it was the first to introduce us to smart contracts where companies can come and use Ethereum's platform to create their own cryptocurrencies and their own blockchain ledgers for themselves. Now, many people think Ethereum has a strong future and might one day overtake Bitcoin in value. However, on the flip side, although Ethereum it was the first to market and has significant market saturation, yeah, it has some scaling issues. Now, the company, they're trying to fix these issues, but some believe that if they can't fix them fast enough, another, better crypto will take its place. Kind of like how back in the early internet days, Alta Vista, that was the big search engine back in the day, but it couldn't, it couldn't scale enough and eventually got beat by something better known as Google. Now is Ethereum Alta Vista or is Ethereum Google? Time will tell. Next up, Ripple, or as the cryptocurrency is known, X. RP. So Ripple, it's a company first and foremost, a company that offers payment solutions to banks. Although technically speaking, XRP is the name of their cryptocurrency, people often just say Ripple. So Ripple's primary function is that it solves the problem a lot of banks and people have in transferring money. Transferring money, it's tedious, it's time consuming, it has high transaction fees. So Ripple is partnering with banks and wants to wants them to adopt their cryptocurrency to make the process of transferring money instantaneous with minuscule fees. Now, some people, some people don't consider Ripple a true cryptocurrency because it's not truly decentralized. 
it centralized with the company, with the company holding most of the currency, and eventually banks will hold a lot of the currency. Despite that, many still believe that Ripple has a strong future. What do you guys think? By the way, if at any point you find value in our video today, give it a like. It helps us grow as a channel. We're a, we're a small channel still, but I think we're providing a lot of value. Anyways, next up, Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash is a fork or offshoot of Bitcoin. It was created by an early adopter of Bitcoin known as Roger Ver in 2017, so fairly recently. Bitcoin Cash sells themselves as the true answer to fulfill Satoshi Nakamoto's intended vision in that since Bitcoin has gotten so popular and is now dealing with speed and fee issues, you can't really use Bitcoin to say, buy a cup of coffee. Bitcoin is slow, the fees would not, you know, the purchase, it just wouldn't be worth it using Bitcoin at this point. So Bitcoin Cash is intended to be an everyday currency. Now, Bitcoin Cash isn't the only crypto in that space. The biggest flaw of Bitcoin Cash, in my opinion, is the shady marketing practices implemented by Roger Ver, who's trying to capitalize off Bitcoin's brand name. And he has, he tries to trick people, in my opinion, into believing that Bitcoin Cash is really Bitcoin. Next up, EOS number five. EOS is a third generation cryptocurrency that some in the EOS community call the Ethereum killer. Uh, yes, EOS believes that they have built a better mousetrap and that because they have improved on what Ethereum originally brought to market, companies and developers will flock to EOS and build off their platform. EOS has been making news lately because they just launched their mainnet after fundraising for nearly a year. They raised an unprecedented $4 billion, what many are claiming is the largest amount ever collected by a team creating a custom cryptocurrency. Now, there is a lot of community support for this project, and EOS has a lot of work to do going forward. Will they be able to live up to the hype? Will they be the Ethereum killer? Time will tell. Next up, number six, we are flying through these. Are you guys learning something? I am. Litecoin. Litecoin is similar to Bitcoin Cash in that it's a fork of Bitcoin. It's one of the original altcoins created it's one of the original altcoins, you know, we have 1500 now, but Litecoin was one of the originals created back in 2011 by a, na by a man named Charlie Lee. Uh, Litecoin was created to solve some of the problems that Bitcoin was facing, slow speed, high fees. So Litecoin is faster and has less fees than Bitcoin and historically speaking has been quicker to update itself with the latest technology than Bitcoin. Going forward, could we one day be paying for our everyday purchases with Litecoin? Maybe, that's their goal, it's possible. Litecoin is definitely one to keep on your radar. Cardano, I like Cardano, what do you guys think? Cardano is a third generation cryptocurrency. It was launched in September, 2017, after more than two years of development. It's unique in that it's built around a peer-reviewed peer papers that experts from around the world read and contribute to. Cardano uh, wants to do what Bitcoin and Ethereum do, only better. So they want to do what Ethereum and Bitcoin do, only better, obviously. They want to be a currency and a smart contract platform. To distill Cardano's goals into three points, Cardano is going to fix, one, the scalability issues that have been plaguing cryptocurrency, Two, they want to fix interoperability. You know, different cryptos will be able to talk to each other. Uh, Cardano will be able to interact with all the other altcoin blockchains. And three, they want to ensure their own sustainability. Uh, they realize that technology is always improving and that if Cardano is going to be relevant in the future, they have to plan to improve it. Very interesting company. They're still in their early stages, but if they can do what they want to do, we could see Cardano getting pretty big. Uh, next up. Oh, actually, I accidentally sk I skipped Stellar. Let's do Stellar right now. Stellar started back in 2014 when a programmer from a programmer who was developing Ripple named Jed McCaleb. Did I pull Stellar up here? There we go. So uh, Jed McCaleb, uh, he thought, hey, I like what Ripple's doing. 
but isn't the whole point of crypto supposed to be decentralized? So McCaleb, he left Ripple to create a coin that was for the people, Stellar Lumen. Where Ripple is for the banks, Stellar Lumen is for the people. Stellar's primary function is to send money across borders quickly for a fraction of a cent. They want to facilitate low-cost payments between different currencies. So, if you need to send money to your pen pal in France, Stellar would be able to transfer uh, your money instantaneously and convert it to euros instantaneous, instantaneously or, or whatever their currency is. So, for a fraction of a cent, they would be able to do this. And right now, Stellar uh, is partnered with IBM and uh, IBM is using Stellar to do just that, cross-order payments. IOTA. IOTA is a third generation cryptocurrency that is truly in a class of its own. And that's because it does not use blockchain. It does not use blockchain. It uses a tangle or a DAG. And uh, yeah, I mean, it is, it's similar to blockchain, but uh, you know, it's more of a tangle, which basically means it actually has zero fees and is highly scalable. IOTA is a cryptocurrency that's trying to connect uh, what they call the Internet of Things. So the Internet of Things is the thought that as we continue to advance, all our technology uh, will be able to talk to each other. You know, your blender will be able to talk to your TV or your computer or your stove or whatever. Uh, so will IOTA, will their tangle be superior to blockchain? I don't know. What do you guys think? And last but not least, to complete our series for today, Tron. Tron. Tron is a cryptocurrency that seeks to tackle the global entertainment industry. Tron aims to allow creators of digital content to cut out middlemen, such as Apple Store or Google Play Store. Content producers will thus be able to obtain funds directly from the consumer. Currently, a lot of user data and traffic is controlled by a few corporations like Google, Facebook, Amazon, Snapchat. Tron is attempting to mitigate this control by placing ownership of the data back into the creator's hands. Also, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Tron's founder slash CEO, Justin Sun. Uh, Justin Sun is a guy both famous and infamous in the crypto space is a, and is a real up and comer and is definitely a guy to watch. Will he be the guy who takes Tron uh, to success. Time will tell. All right, guys, was that less than 10 minutes? Was, or I, it was at least less than 13 minutes. I like that. And if you guys like that too, hit the like button on YouTube right now. And also, if you wanted to share this, that's great. It helps the community. Either way, thank you guys very much. See you guys tomorrow. This is Aaron here at Altcoin Daily. And throughout the next coming weeks, we will be tackling the top 100. Anyways, over and out. Thank you guys very much. See you tomorrow.